You're not waiting for your friends, Missy asked. I had breakfast with them, she answered. That was more than enough socializing for one day. Besides, I got hungry when my blood sugar dips. I'm thoroughly useless. She scanned the laminated menu, the faint crisp appearing above her delicate nose. We have a delicious fatty piglet in aspic today, announced Red Ziggy, emphasizing the delicacy of flavor by kissing his fingertips, as he'd seen a Greek chef do on a film. Or I can start you off with a pork and sorrel soup, followed by a salted herring in a rye blanket. How does that sound? The girl grimaced. Very bloody, she said. Do you have anything vegetarian? <laughs> Vegetarianism was not an issue on Red Ziggy's home planet, where organic molecules were absorbed from the atmosphere through the skin. Nearly every item on Cafe Riga's menu paid homage to hogs, even the milk-simmered pilchards, which the proprietor, into which the proprietor generously stirred a shard of bacon. Usually, this suited the diners of lemmings just fine. But the auburn-haired creature gazing at Ziggy, her eyes both hopeful and exacting, seemed to share as little with the diners of lemmings as he did. I can make you a strong borscht, offered Red Ziggy. I also have a fine selection of cheeses. I could serve them in a sandwich, if you like. Maybe our Kimbu Sears, that's our cumin cheese. And how about some fried sliced Jani? My native land, Jani, is known as the summer solstice cheese, but it tastes as rich and ripe as the overhead sun. That sounds divine, agreed the girl.